Hello everyone, welcome to this edition of Taking It to the Nations. My name is Alwanza and I'll be reading from the Good News Daily, Daily Reamer Words. And these Daily Reamer Words are rewritten and prepared with my highly esteemed prophets, Prophet Hubert Angel and Prophetess BB Angel. I am honored to them. I love them. I thank God for even through them I now have this platform. And so I thank God for that. I thank God for them. And um, today we're going to wor read Worry Free which I am such a believer of being worry-free because with the Good News Daily, the way it's set up, you don't even have to think about what you're going to witness about, what you're going to talk about, what you're gonna, um, how you're going to introduce Jesus to someone. It's a no-brainer. They've taken away all the thought, all the input. You just, you just be the, the force, be the energy behind it to distribute it. So these, are, they have provided for free for us not to be sold, and you can pick up from your local branch, which you can find one close to you. If you want to join this initiative and hand these out or get you one for yourself, your own copy um, for your family, for your friends, your coworkers, you can find your local branch on www.ubertangel.org. And you spell Hubert, U-E-B-E-R-T-A-N-G-E-L, Hubert Angel. You can find him on Facebook and um, Instagram, all social media. YouTube, follow his YouTube channel and see why I am glad that God, the Lord has sent me to the prophets because truly the path I was on was destructive. So um, I thank God for them. Also, when you give these out, if you decide to become a part of the One Million Initiative, getting the word out, making Jesus famous, give them some information, find some tabs, some um post it, some sticky notes, and put on the back or put it somewhere or write it on the inside, the address to where your branch is located. So if you do find someone who's never heard of Jesus, want to change their life, they've given their life to, to Jesus Christ through you while you're on the streets, by all means, give them an avenue to travel to. I have made these little things here, and it's called, I just visit us every Sunday at 1030 a.m. I have the address. I have how to reach us via the metro, the train system. I have the prayer line on the bottom where they can call, get help, ask questions, um, get a prayer, a breakthrough through. Also, where to, to text Prophet Angel to and so they get real life updates of what the church is doing now, where we're located, the events that's happening in the D.C., Delaware area. I mean, it's amazing and even more amazing what you can find on the site, on the site. So. Without further ado, let's get started and see what the prophets have for us. Worry free. And it is taken from Matthew 6 and 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Take no thought for the morrow. That is faith. Okay, that is faith. Because you go to sleep thinking about what you're going to do tomorrow. Especially if you don't have no regular routine, like getting up and going to work tomorrow if your day off, or you don't have no regular 9 to 5. Um, like, what are you going to do the next day? What are you going to do? Also about um, take no thought for tomorrow. To me, I'm just saying this. We haven't even read what the prophets read yet. Like, Also, like... Hmm, what about tomorrow? Worrying about if it's the end of the month, rent is due, utilities are due, car note is due. Um, you start a new job, so you got to put three weeks in the hole before you get a check, but yet your bills are still there. Take no worry. God got you. I'm just saying that. I'm going to see what the prophets say. God does not want you staying up all night worrying about tomorrow. <laughs> Brilliant. He wants you to know that he gives you all the help you need for today. And when tomorrow comes, so will fresh help from him. Wow. That's in one of Prophet's books. I think it's Enjoy Life Now on a daily basis. Let me show you what it looks like. And I think it's in this one, Enjoy Life Now. And it says in the top green surface, says biblical success to enjoying life on a daily basis. I think she talks about being worry-free in here. Tools, yeah, because enjoy life now, like no worry. And also in her book about life is um, 
I'm sorry about BB Angel Grace Driven Life. Proven steps to living. Again. So one of these books, guilt free life. So one of these books, it she explains very, very well, like very, very well how to live a guilt free life. Like it must be in grace room, but it's a guilt free life. No worry. Like she really breaks it down. So um, so I read the book and in my mind refreshed. To, to it, I knew it was her who written it. Okay, so let's continue. It says, no one can ever achieve thing by can achieve anything by wearing except opening the door to depression and sickness. Whoa. Mouthful. As I was reading that, you see, I was saying it out loud, but I was in my body. I was like, the door to depression and sickness. So depression, depression is wearing. Okay. And one of my testimonies is I was diagnosed with major depression. Uh, I spent three weeks in a hospital in a dark room. No one could come in and out. And it, the lights were off. The people couldn't come in. I was too afraid of the people. I was totally, highly depressed. And I was locked in a room, a dark room, for three weeks. Mm-hmm. Sure was. But, okay, so that was worry. And then sickness. Sickness, 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 like sickness. So back in the Old Testament, when the children of Israel were in the desert, God gave them fresh manna from heaven every morning. They did not have to worry about tomorrow because when tomorrow came, there was fresh manna again. Wow, the prophets brought that home for me. He was their provision every day. That's something because now I have a visual of not taking thought for tomorrow. And I can always refer back to the Old Testament with the manna. It says, today, God wants you to simply rest in his ability to heal, deliver, protect, and provide for you every day. Don't worry about tomorrow. He has already been there and made provision for that. Enjoy today. <laughs> he has already been there. The prophet's got that sense of but don't worry about it. He already been there. What are you worried about tomorrow for? Just ask Jesus. Like That was funny to me. Now, the prophetic declaration. Now, I'm just going to reread out loud so you can repeat after me what the prophets have already written. I'm not coming out with my own declaration. And then after that, we're going to read the further study. So the prophetic declaration is repeat after me as I repeat what the prophets have already written. God is not giving me the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. I refuse to worry about tomorrow. He cares for me. And I know I am sufficiently supplied in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sufficiently supplied in the name of Jesus. Because man, if he did it for the Israelites back in way before Jesus, he do it for me. Like it didn't stop. Like what he started, he has not stopped. It has not ended. The world is still spinning on its axis. The sun still rises and, well, does it say? No, the earth still spins. So the sun is still hanging. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's go to the further study, which is 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7. And I have it on my phone, 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7. And it says, for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So if God has not given us the fear and then there's a but and junction. So fear takes away power, love, and a sound mind. When you don't have fear, you have power, love, and a sound mind. That's something to meditate on right there. That, that, that's sinking in. Fear takes away three things out of my life. And those three things take away that fear. That fear ain't got no power. It ain't strong here. So I thank God for that lesson. I thank God. Don't forget to grab your copy of The Good News Daily. Join me tomorrow, 2.30, rain, sleet, and snow, every day of the year for another reading from The Good News Daily. Thank you, guys. See you, till, see you next time. Later.